In this lesson, you will learn how to create a new document, and then how to customize that document so that it works for you. By knowing what to consider, understanding digital versus print documents, and things like size, resolution, and pixels per inch. Then you will name and save your document, and save a document preset, or what I like to call a template, for you to use later. Ready to create your first document? Well, let's do that. Not only will we create our first document, but I want to point out some very important things to consider when creating your document. And one of those is to consider how you're going to later use your particular document. Are you going to print it onto canvas or paper? Are you going to make products out of it? Or are you only going to use it to, to be shown on um, screens, computer screens, um, maybe a web design or so forth. Those are important things to think about what the output is going to be. Maybe you don't know quite yet, and if not, I have some important advice for you to, to take. So stay tuned and let's create our first document. Okay, so to create my first document, I could select some of these previous sizes I've used, or I could click this little blue plus sign that says Create New. I think I'll click that. All right, now once I click that, it's going to give me a number of templates of pre-made sizes to use with pre-made resolutions. If you don't know what the word resolution or PPI or pixels per inch mean, you need to know those. So I will go ahead and tell you what they are. <laughs> the first two most important things here is that you can create digital documents or print documents. So if you're going to be doing um, artwork that's later going to be seen on computer screens like web design and, and stuff like that, then you would select digital. If you're going to be doing stuff that is going to be printed out later um, in a, a very physical way, <laughs> like on posters and canvas and products, uh, maybe a comic book or whatever, then you're going to want print design. Um, and there's a difference between the two. Digital designs are low resolution, and they're generally only 72 pixels per inch. That's 72 PPI. They look great on screens and tablets and phones, but they don't look great printed out. So then you want to move up to print design, where it's high resolution. And high resolution is generally, uh, the standard is 300 pixels per inch or PPI, 300 PPI. Um, so understand the difference between what PPI is used for the web and what PPI is used for print and consider what your output is going to be. What's the purpose? I mean, what's the purpose of this later or way that you would like to use this wonderful work of art that you're going to be making? Um, if you're unsure and you don't really know, then always stay with high resolution and later you can always um, resave it, rename it, and save it as low resolution but you can't go the opposite way. So that's my little spiel. Now let's go ahead and create our first document. And let's go ahead and create a custom document so you can see how that's done. So here's custom size under recent. And you notice later it was also on the home screen where I can click this and say custom size. And it will um, allow me to input what height and width um, and what resolution I want. So let's go through this 
right here. Okay, so new document right here. I can name my document. Always a good thing to name them. So let's go ahead and name it. And let's name it my first document. Yahoo! <laughs> okay, so there's my first document. If you do forget, later, once you open the document, there's a place you can name it there as well. Now, let's look at units. Right now, it's being measured in pixels. I measure things in pixels for um, the web or uh, if it's going to ever be seen on a computer screen. That's great. But if I'm going to be printing it out, every printer I've worked with asks for either inches or centimeters. They're not measuring things in pixels. So, um, not generally. <laughs> so I'm going to select inches if centimeters is uh, more natural for you, for your location and where you are, you could select centimeters. But for now, I'm going to select inches, and then I'm going to fill in the width, W for width, H for height, and make sure that this little lock thing is unlocked, not locked. See how I can lock it and unlock it? So I'll click first for the width. I'll click in there, and let's make an 8 by 10 document. So 8... And here I'll make the height 10 inches, and then I'll go ahead and lock it. Let's start with 8 by 10. So here's the orientation. Do I want portrait or do I want landscape? If I click landscape, it just switches the dimensions. So I think I'll start with portrait right here. And then for pixel size, let's see, it says 72 ppi. Uh-oh, hey, that's low resolution. I don't want to start with low resolution. I'm going to start with high resolution. And what is that? Yeah, it is 300 PPI. <laughs> so there we go. So 300 PPI. And then I'll start with a white background. Um, later, there might be a need for you to have a transparent background. And the, that's great for things like you want to do a logo design that's going to go on different um, colored backgrounds or different colored t-shirts or papers and you want the background um, to be the color of the substrate that you're working with um, and there's lots of various things that you would use transparent for um, it's always a good thing to talk to your printer about that but for the most part we're going to be using a white background all right, so I'm going to start with that, and then let's see. I can save this size. Let's say this is a size that I'm going to use often. I'm going to be cranking out a lot of stuff on 8x10. Well, then go ahead and save the size, and it will save it up here under your little saved menu where you can get your own preset templates um, for documents that you've made. Um, and you, so if I hit that, then it would ask me to name it. Let's go ahead and, and do that. So let's see. I'll name it um, 8 whoops, by 10, 300 ppi, and say done. Now, that's different than the name of my document. My document's my first document, but this is the name of the template, blank te template with nothing inside it that later, if I want to make keep using that size, I can click in saved and get it. All right, Whew. so there you go. That's how to create a custom document. And now let's create our first document. I'm dying to hit this big button that says create document. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go, our first document. And if you look up here at the top tab here, it has my first document. Now, if you forgot and it says untitled, you can just click this little arrow, click on there, and then you can rename it. Okay, so now you have your first document. And in the next couple videos, 
let's take a look around and learn about the different um, settings, uh, panels, and toolbars that are going to really help us be able to create things.